Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Monday the 19th of December. Hey, Christmas week is here. And the weather is a challenge. Uh, we've got some really active weather unsettled after today. So let's get in there and talk about it and throw out some ideas and see what we can do on the specific solutions for the Christmas weekend. We'll start with the uh, Skycam images early this morning. First off, coming from Birmingham, looking into the steel jungle about 5 o'clock. It's clear and it's cold. Many spots are below freezing. Nice look there at the Fayette County Courthouse up in northwest Alabama and down south, downtown Clanton in Chilton County. Love the lights. Guess what? Another upper low in the southwest. Nothing new. We've had a series of those things here in the recent weeks. And that will be lifting out slowly. But ahead of that, it's cold. Those are 5 a.m. temperatures as cold as 27 in Gadsden. Uh, Aniston and Tuscaloosa sitting at freezing. Birmingham a bit warmer in the city at 36. But a pretty decent warm-up today. We'll be in the low 60s this afternoon. And around the nation, no really you know excessively cold air. And we note that tongue of warmer air coming up ahead of the developing storm in the southwest from Texas up toward uh, Chicago and, and Detroit, where it's pretty warm for mid-December. But, ooh, boy, look at that mess out there. The panhandles of Texas and Oklahoma, western Kansas, northeast New Mexico, southeast Colorado. That's a blizzard warning. Uh, surely nobody will be traveling out there in that mess today. And winter storm warnings surround that all the way from New Mexico up into uh, central and northeastern Kansas. And in the warm sector, hey, look at that risk of severe weather today. Central and southeast Texas, from roughly uh, Waco and Stephenville down to uh, Houston and Freeport. Tomorrow, slight risk of severe weather. North Mississippi, northwest Alabama. This would be mainly for tomorrow night for our part of the state. And then on Wednesday, no formal risk, but again, we've got those 5% probabilities for central and east Alabama. And we'll take a very specific look at the uh, severe weather issues we go along here. Uh, rain for the next five days, there ought to be a pretty good bit of it. Uh, this is suggesting rain amounts of one to one and a half inches here. This is valid through Friday evening at six o'clock. And again, the hard part's going to be timing out the specific rounds of rain, and we'll do the best we can. So many people are traveling and getting set to... Uh, either go somewhere or people are coming in to visit for Christmas. This is the 06 ZGFS at noon today, and there's your storm coming out of the southwest, and down below that, there's your blizzard. Uh, from northeast New Mexico up into Kansas, surface low developing just below that, 1,008 millibars over the south plains of Texas. And But around here, nice day. We'll call it partly sunny, highs in the uh, low 60s, just beautiful. All right, tomorrow... The upper low begins to lift out as a short wave, a bit of a negative tilt. And down below that, uh, there's the surface chart, and we've got a 1,012 millibar low that's over northwestern uh, Arkansas with showers developing during the day. We'll go to Tuesday night, uh, tomorrow night at midnight. You can see the uh, surface low is over southern Illinois, good chance of showers and storms. And then Wednesday at noon, the uh, surface low weakens and uh, still some chance of showers Wednesday morning, if this is right, but nothing too significant. Let's go through the high-resolution RPM, which always gives her a better look, gives us a better look. This is uh, 6 p.m. tomorrow. Showers here, better chance of storms off to the west. We'll go to 6 a.m. Wednesday. It's raining over most of the state. Uh, and again, no real evidence of any convection in there. But we go to noon on Wednesday, and the, and the RPM wants to develop maybe some strong storms south and east of Birmingham at midday. And then by 6 o'clock, everything is out of here. Uh, here's a look at the instability. This is Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock, and, and there is surface-based instability there. Uh, basically, 500 joules or a tad more. That's not overwhelming. But then again, with almost all of these cold season systems, you're not going to see a whole lot of instability. So that is certainly sufficient for organized storms. And this is the helicity uh, Wednesday morning at 6 o'clock. Uh, the 0 to 1 kilometer helicity. And by golly, there's a decent degree there, uh, up to about 200 units or so. Although the better you know, shear is pulling away to the northeast. So uh, no doubt we might see a few severe storms tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. 
The main threat would be from strong straight line winds. We cannot, with those numbers, rule out an isolated tornado. I don't think it'll be a major tornado problem, but we can't rule out the chance of one somewhere. Uh, tomorrow night or early Wednesday, so it might be a night where we're burning the midnight oil in the weather office. All right, let's go to Thursday. And look at that. You can see all this energy coming at us. It's just going to be a tricky forecast. Uh, a new uh, low developing in the southwest. You can see a chunk of energy coming out of that over Texas and Oklahoma. And guess what? More rain moving in. Uh, this is suggesting rain increasing west of the state Thursday and moving in here. So we'll bring in a good chance of rain again Thursday afternoon and Thursday night. And there's no cold air involved here. Uh, high stay in the 60s, uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Now, Friday, the GFS wants to leave a little, little, uh, little lingering light rain in here. Uh, this is midday Friday. So kind of cloudy-ish, maybe some rain Friday morning. But this is where we're, we're getting into some real forecast challenges. Uh, but highs would stay in the 60s. All right, Saturday, Christmas Eve, if this is right. There's your Christmas Eve weather. It looks like the a better chance of snow would be up in uh, Michigan, parts of uh, northern Indiana, Wisconsin maybe, around Green Bay, Milwaukee. Uh, rain for parts of the East Coast, Christmas Eve. And around here, this would be dry if this is right. And we start to turn cooler. That uh, surface high dropping into uh, uh, Colorado should drop highs into the uh, upper 50s, which is about where we should be. And Christmas Day on the GFS. This is noon, Christmas. Uh, we still got troughing to the west. I mean, it, it's just been that kind of a season. And look at that. A new batch of rain wants to move in here Christmas Eve or Christmas, or I'm sorry, Christmas night, perhaps, if this is right. Uh, but hang on here. Let's look at the European. This is noon on Sunday on the European model. And we all know it's done very well this season, but it's bone dry. With good cold air advection, the 540 line dropping down to Huntsville and in, in Hamilton. So if you take this model on face value, it's going to be sunny and cold. But wait a minute. Let's look at the Canadian. It's kind of with a GFS. It's got a new batch of rain moving in here. Uh, and, and we have seen the European reflecting this. And I think this is the best way to go because we, we have mentioned this for a few days. And we're going to mention clouds colder on Sunday with rain moving in. Not snow, but rain. Could there be some snow in the northern flank of all of this? Maybe. Oh, Tennessee and Arkansas, but uh, not down here. be very, very unlikely. So for now, we'll mention a chance of rain uh, Christmas afternoon, Christmas night. We'll, we'll fine-tune this, understand there probably will be forecast changes. And then uh, Monday of next week, the GFS has it wet, but the rain should be tapering off during the day. All right, let's check New Year's Day, what do you say? First day of 2012. Um, eh, it doesn't look very cold, does it? Nope. Down below that, dry. The end of the forecast on January 3rd, dry, seasonal, no really cold air. And there's the deal. The NAO, it's just not going to go negative. Stays positive for the next 15 days into the new year. And, of course, uh, we all know that if that's the case, it is very hard to get true cold air down here for any length of time. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video by 3.30 or so today. And if you live around here, we invite you to join us on the TV side this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.